out. I told him he had to get out. He doesn't have an option. You gotta get out, or I gotta kick you out. Something's gotta happen because this is not okay. No, it's not at all normal to have the police in your life at 7.30 in the morning after being beat up by your boyfriend. It's not healthy for you. Yeah, well, I... So tell me what happened today. And she, she'll put marks on herself. She, she'll she sit there and go like this. She'll say, I, I grew up probably the same way you raise your kids. You don't lay a hand on a female. If you see a man lay a hand on a female, you beat the fuck out of him and you deal with gun Right. Right. I don't lay my hands on females. She's going through this birth control, hormones, crazy... I, I can't deal with it. What the... Hi. How are you? Not doing so hot. <laughs> Clearly. So, this morning, me and my working went to an argument um, over a pile of dog throw up in my bed. Um, I had asked him to clean it, and he said no. Um, but it turned into something crazy. Um, he started calling me names, and I kept telling him, you know, stop, we're, we're 19. Negative. Back side of the building. We gotta stop um, calling each other names and stuff. Um, and stuff like that. And then he starts pushing me to the ground and everything like that. And then every like two seconds he well, he choked me as well. I don't know if you can see if my neck's still red. But um he did choke me. Yeah, you got marked. He pushed me too. Um, okay. right here. Um, but every single time that we fight. Well here, let's step under the cover yeah. so yeah. we're not in the rain. Do you know where he took off to? Yeah. Where would he go? I have no clue. He's supposed to be going to work this morning. Where does he work? Uh, Bright Box Electric in Mariana. Um, we were actually getting ready to go to work, but he was like, you're not going to work today. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, we were supposed to be going to work today. And this was like, oh, okay. Well, we were actually getting ready to go to work, but then he was being really rude. Kept calling me really rude names, like rude pieces of shit, a petty ass motherfucker. Those words literally. Okay. And this, and this is from last time, the last fight that we had as well. I felt. Because um, he took my phone and started running with it. So whenever I went to go get it, he had pushed me and I fell to the ground. Where is he at now? I have no clue. He took off. Did he try to take his truck? No, he doesn't have a vehicle here. Okay. Uh, did um, I not do a report with you guys when your car was broken into? Mm -hmm. Was that a false report? No. Did he do that? No. No, I know he didn't do that. So he's on foot somewhere? Yeah. Okay. He, he probably took off to the trail. Um, right I don't, there. He, he went that way. And usually he tends to go that way. Um, I don't know where he would have gone. Um, but he took a table and smashed it into the ground. Um, in there. Okay. We'll see where. Um, he's wearing a orange and it's a black shirt and then it's got an orange accent. And then the shirt also has his name on it. Okay. And then he's wearing like black pants like you guys are wearing. Um, but um, this happens every time. But he doesn't do anything until I call the cops. But he kept coming up to me acting like he was going to swing at me and everything like that. He kept pushing me, kept touching me. I have a video of me saying, he stopped touching me. And he wouldn't stop touching me. So, let me ask you this. This isn't the first time. And this is going to sound very harsh, but reality is harsh, right? Why are you still with him? You're how, you're how old? You're how old? 19. See what I'm saying? So there's damage inside as well? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, he damages the house every time. How many dogs are inside? Two. They're both friendly. Okay. I have to ask because you know I gotta go in there and yeah. see everything. Yeah. Alright. So we'll go inside. I'll get all his all your information, all his information. Um we don't locate him now. Yeah. Well, um to the apartment and we're at the point of all he has to do is sign an agreement. And I have to sign the agreement and he will out the house. So, y'all are both on the lease? Yes, but I'm the primary owner. Okay. I'm just a roommate. Um. Well. I will go up to the apartment as well and I'll, I'll speak with them later today. If you would like. Yeah. Alright. I'm trying to work things out with him several times, but. At some point, you. It doesn't change. Yeah. And then he said that he didn't mean anything when he saw me calling the cops, but it doesn't really matter. You can't take that to the end of the No, no, you cannot. Hey, Pop. Hey, Pop. Hey, Pop. Hey, Pop. Hey, Pop. Hey, Pop. You just 
want to play. Yeah. Come on, guys. No. <laughs> This is the table we took, and it did that to my floor, but he, it's a small table, but I mean, it yeah. took it and just smashed it, like, full on, for no reason. Like, there was no reason for any of this to happen, and then he kept saying, all of this happened over Corolla. I didn't do nothing. More 21, I'm so full. Um, I sat in the bed the whole time and actually recorded myself. Okay. Did he break anything else? Um, no, not this time. No. That was it. It's in my car. I'll have you go up and grab it. I gotta take a good bit of photographs. There's substantial damage inside the apartment as well as her face. Um, the last time that I did kick him out, he broke into my window. I got a video so this isn't the first time it's happened, but this is the first time you're calling on it? No, I've called about it before, but whenever I they came, they told me that I they were here for something different. Um, so I called and told them that my boyfriend had a gun in the house and that he was being very aggressive towards me. And usually when that happens, something always happens. Right. Something always happens. Something bad always happens. So I'm just trying to get in front of it. What happens? He ends up stealing my car. And took it out to Marietta. And they told me basically that I had to get it back myself. So I did. I got it back myself. Wait, we told you that? Yeah. Um, they, well, they told me that I could press charges and that they would go get it. But they said if he's telling me where it's at and everything, then I should go get it myself. So I went to go get it. Um, and then after that, we were okay. And nothing was happening between us. But, um. Do you have your driver's license on? Yes, it should be my Same date of birth, just a year apart. Did I give? You gave me eleven, twelve, oh, two. Oh, his is twelve twenty one. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> about to say that's. I don't know if that's scary or just random. <laughs> Mine's eleven twelve two thousand and three. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. Okay. I've never wanted to do this on him, but. Yeah, there's a certain point in time that never wanted to do it, and it being too late for it to be done is getting vastly close. Now let me ask, did he purchase the furniture or did you purchase it? I purchased every single bit. Okay. I don't have all the bank savings So when did that happen? When did... You're out. Um, about five days ago. Maybe six. It happened on Friday. Last Friday. So a week ago? Yeah. Okay. 
he pushes me, but he says that he did it because his hands are behind his back. He's body checking. Yeah, you. he's going like this, like full on. Like I, I fly whenever he pushes me. Like I'm not sitting there just. Oh no! Like falling myself. What what damage or what physical things happened today to you? Um, today he choked me, um, and then he pushed me on the ground over there, and I fell onto the table right over here. I don't know if it's bruising yet. I can feel it, though. Um, it's starting to, but she does have strangulation marks. And then he did push me for this, for the eye. Um, and I actually had it on video. So what happened was I was videotaping us, like, fighting. I wasn't video recording it, but I had my phone on a voice memo in my pocket. So whenever he had pushed me, my phone slid out, and he seen the voice memo. So he took my phone and took off. So I went to go chase him, and I fell. Okay. That was the other day. Mm-hmm. Once you get your camera and get pictures. All right. This guy. They told me he was going to change. I still have my doubts about the report I took about the inner out because it was strange that his truck didn't get touched and yours did. I mean, I, did, I had my suspicions about yeah. him. That. He's not working or anything, is he? He is. Is he? He's supposed to be there right now. Where does he work at? Bright Box. Yeah. Where would he go this morning? I have no clue. I told him to go to his friend's house this morning several times, but he wouldn't. He wouldn't get out. I told him he had to get out. He doesn't have an option. you got to get out or i got to kick you out. Something's got to happen because this is not okay. No, it's not at all. He's going to keep doing this until he seriously hurts you. How, how does he normally get to work? I think Okay. And he doesn't have any of the car keys, does he? No, he shouldn't. Okay. Do you think he'll try and come back later? He may. Well, we're going to take out warrants for him. So if he comes back, we want to know. Where's his friend live? A Marietta. Okay. Um, that's where he went the last time we started fighting. He went over there because they gave him a place to stay. And they worked with him as well, so he was able to get to work and everything that way. I told him just to go there, um, but he kept screaming at me and calling me a petty little bitch. Said he didn't love me anymore. And I'm like, then why are you still doing this? Why, why are we still going? Why are you still touching me? Why are you still fighting with me? But what he does is he says, I don't love you anymore. He walks out, and he's trying to get me to, like, react. He wants a reaction on me or something. So I'll sit there. I don't react. He comes in five minutes later and does the whole thing all over again. Right. Does he have a cell phone with him? Uh, yes. What's the, the numbers for his cell phone? Of his. How many cats do you have? Well, I have one. <laughs> Those are just the neighborhood cats. They're just hanging out. Yeah. Well, we feed all of them. How's your t shirt business going? Did you? He didn't come back, but Friday. This happens at least once a week. Put it into it. I love him, but I can't put him in the middle of That's what I need to do is pull down so I can see your neck. Can you close the No, I'm good. So I should go ahead and close your eyes so I can get your eyes well, just in case. Alright, thank you. Any other marks or anything? Um, I'm going to do my arm. You need that? Yeah. Because it is starting to burst. Right there on the elbow? Yeah. Do one to over all over it, too. We need you to do a witness statement, too, if you would, please. Where'd you say you worked? Right, box.
rag box? Yeah. Oh. Bright box? Yeah. Oh, okay. What's his phone number? 770-829-7320. I'm going to go grab your wooden stand on the bus ride. I'm going to keep checking the area for him. If he comes back, you've got to call us. This cycle of violence doesn't get better. It gets worse. And I know you say you love him, and it's possible, but you're possibly just in love with the idea of someone taking care of you or being with you. Yeah. You're a young, young gal. you get your future ahead of you. You don't, you don't need this. Is your phone charged and everything? Yeah. Keep it with you. As soon as he makes contact with you, as soon as I heard this apartment, I knew where I was yeah. coming. You know, we've been here, what, three, four times? <laughs> I mean, this is not normal to have the police in your life at 7.30 in the morning after being beat up by your boyfriend. It's not healthy for you. Yeah, well, I talked to the front office, and we're in the process of getting him out of here. Um, we were doing things civilly. First, I mean, it was just a document that he had to sign. Um, I told him he could live here for the rest of the month. He paid full rent that month instead of only doing house. I was like, yeah, you can live here. You can have a place to stay. He was acting right for about three days. And that was it. Does he, I got the impression he used something the day I was out here. Does he use drugs? No. Oh. I don't know. Not that I know. He was super animated that day. Yeah, I think he, he gets almost manic, I think. Um, his eyes are really big right now. His people is not, if he is using something, he's using something I don't know about. Right. Uh, I know he smokes weed, but that's about it. Okay. Do you need to be checked by anybody? Are you hurting or anything? No. Do you want an ambulance to come look you over or anything? No, I'm not sure. Okay. Right. Will, you need anything? I'm going to keep looking around for him. No, you're sorry. I'm good. Okay. All right, call me if you need anything. Good luck to you, man. Call us when he comes back, because he will. Where was the table sitting? Um, it was sitting right against the wall. Right next to the jewelry box? Yeah. Okay. He's trying to smash the jewelry box, Does have anybody in the co uh, complex he would go to? Mm. He doesn't really know anybody out here. I don't know anybody that he would go to. He's out from Barto County on Rydal. Um, I don't know anybody that he would go to. I mean, I know he called his buddy whenever he was leaving and calling his work and stuff trying to make it seem like he's having to miss work because I'm crazy. He likes to do that. He actually has me call his boss. Um, so he can miss work? Just so that they, like, don't blame it on him. Because they try, because when he's there, he tries to sit there and say, like, I chose not to bring him to work that morning. It's not that I chose not to bring you to work. I don't want to take somebody to work that's sitting there continuously disrespecting me, calling me names. Like, it's it's not realistic. It kind of sounds crazy. You drive no. somebody down the road and they're sitting there, like, cussing you out and crap. Well, it doesn't sound crazy. So where's his gun at? His friend's house. He left it there because um, he was too scared to bring it home because he's scared that I'm going to call the cops on him. Um, which I, if he, there's no reason for me to call the cops on him unless he brings it out because um, last year he shot himself with a gun. So for one, I genuinely don't think he needs to have it. I got you. Um, I don't want to get shot. If he can't even not shoot himself, what's going to stop him from shooting somebody else? Yeah. All right, so 
Here's what I'll tell you to do. Well, I can't tell you to do anything. Here would be my next step for you. Um, first off, go get medically seen. Yeah. Right? Make sure he didn't damage anything when he grabbed you by the throat. Yeah. Alright? Secondly, I would go up to the sheriff's office. Alright? Sheriff's office, you can pull a temporary protection order. Well, not the sheriff's office. Go to the courthouse. The big one? Yeah. Go up there. You can pull a temporary protection order. Okay? Mm -hmm. Clearly, it, it's an abusive relationship. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. That's what I can see. That's what Sarge saw. That's what you see. Mm -hmm. Right? Go get your temporary protection order. Alright? They'll serve him. Yeah. Alright? That'll protect you, even though it says he lives here. If he comes back here, we can automatically pick him up for breaking in temporary protection. Yeah, and that's what the front office lady said, too. Cause well, the front office lady, her husband, yeah. is... Yeah, he works with you guys, is what she well, said. Well, he's us up. Oh, and wow. he's he's good people. Um, Gunter? Yeah, I haven't heard of him yet, but... So, have you ever seen the Paulton County car that's got, like, the full decal yeah. for hiring? Yeah. That's him. Oh, wow, okay. Um, yeah, I was... Speaking with her, and they said that everybody in the apartment has seen. Time for if you want to, if not, uh, if you want to transport them, I'd be mighty kind of you. If not, I'll transport them. Mm -hmm. I think I finished. Okay. This is your statement. Yeah. Time for. If you want to hand me my pen back. Okay. Alright, so this is a case card for the city of Dallas. Alright, that's my name and badge number. That's your case number. Alright? If you need anything, anything comes up, you want to talk to somebody, give us a call. Alright? Questions for me right now? Not that you know of, not that you can think of right now. Okay. Still, you feel it necessary, you want to talk to somebody, reach out, give them my name and badge number, ask them if I'm available. Alright? I will gladly come back out and talk to you about anything going on. Thank you. Of course. Clayton, what's going on, man? How's it going, sir? So what happened this morning? I just piled a dog throw up on the damn bed. Okay. I didn't want to clean it. It caused an argument. Okay. Basically, she was like, I'm not taking you to work now. I was like, well, got to pay the bills. Can't We can't argue here and then make it affect my work life, you know? Right. And it caused a big situation, so I left. I left. How'd, how'd she get that bruise on her she's eye? She's had that bruise. Cuts? She's had those bruises and cuts since I left the other day. Okay. She says she was moving the couches and shit like that. I mean, what she, about her eye? The black eye? She's got a knot right here from where she fell. She told my entire family, she, I mean, her family, everything. Okay. I've never laid my hands on her like that. Well, she said she's got some marks on her neck, too. How'd she get those? I've never put my hands on her neck. Hey, can, can I answer? It's my work. Yeah, yeah. Hey, sir. Okay. It's okay, I Okay, I guess I'm speaking with the officer right now anyway. Yeah, yeah, I'll let y'all know. I'll let you know the green light. Yeah, but let me get off here real quick, sir. All right, thank you, sir. What time you got to be at work? I got to be at work at 7. Yeah, so. Who's someone on the way to pick you up? Yeah, so right. I, was, I was supposed to be there at 7. I wake up at 5 every morning. Okay, so tell me what happened today. And she, she'll put marks on herself. She, she'll she sit there and go like this. She'll say, I... I grew up probably the same way you raise your kids. You don't lay a hand on a female. If you see a man lay a hand on a female, you beat the fuck out of him and you deal with consequences. Right. Right. I don't lay my hands on females. She's going through this birth control, hormones, crazy. I, I can't deal with it. Okay. I don't. I, I, all I know is to leave now. And every time I leave or every time I say something about it, it she threatens to take the car and then I can't get to work. Right. And that's my biggest thing is when you start playing work, that's my home. I pay every bit of that rent. 
You know, she pays half. I pay every bit of my check. I only make fifteen hundred dollars every two weeks. You know. Go ahead. Right. How'd you get the scratch here? They probably work. Ten four. Ten four. You nine to five. Uh, I get dinged up all the time. Okay. I was walking yeah. up in there. All right, do me a favor and put your hand behind your back for me. I'm going to detain you for now, okay? So I'm not under arrest? Right? Not this time. Can I answer that real fast? No, nah, we're kind of past that point. You know, all stories aren't matching up. Okay, do you have any pocket knives or anything on you? Not that I'm aware of. I might have a screwdriver in my pocket or something. Okay. Some balls in my back left pocket, some phones in my right. Okay. 11, I got one to 10. All right, go ahead and spread your legs for me, okay? So I will let you know that we just arrested him up at Building 2. You did? Yeah. He's going to jail. He's going to jail on family violence, assault by strangulation, and damage to property. All right? Any I questions? Feel bad for him, but here's, here's the thing. This has been going on for at least three years. And that's. Two years and 364 days too long. Here's my thing though. He has told me that if I ever put him in jail, that he's going to kill me. He's literally going to kill me. He is that crazy. Bring that up when you go to apply for your TPO. Okay. Alright. Because you didn't put him in jail. We did. Alright. Do you have any questions right now? I don't think so. Alright. If you need anything, call us. Thank you. Absolutely. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not sure. I, these are my work pants. Okay. I know I have to, oh, two flashlights. Okay. I'm an electrician. I work in the dark. I just, just vape. Vape, yeah. Bad habits. How long you work for a box? I worked there for about eight months. And there's my two flashlights. The inner pocket? The top This pocket. one here? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, there's the floor to it. Okay. I'll sit there right there for now. This is the screen is crap. Is it? Alright, yeah. I'll switch it the other way then. Yeah. I appreciate not being afraid to have it on camera. I know, that's what I get it. No needles or anything, right? No, sir. Hell okay. no. All right. Hopefully. Do you have a screwdriver in there? No, I, tell you, I might have a screwdriver in one of these okay. pockets, but I don't. And get the flashlights. Do I need to. You just open that pocket. Right, we'll just. That's my second, my coat, my night pants. That's it. You got lots of flashlights. Yeah, I could work in the dark. Okay. They only hold battery for so long. Oh, yeah, I get it. Believe it or not, people think I carry that lighter because I smoke cigarettes. No, uh, when I mess with my low volt wire, it helps me strip the wire. Uh, I believe it. So, what am I being detained for? Well, I have another officer down there investigating it. Like I said, your stories aren't matching up, so go ahead and see. Go okay. back down there. One twenty one, you need me to do twenty five with you back down there. So we're we're clearing the ninety five. for 121. Right. So here's what's going on. The other officers determined there's probable cause to take warrants on you. Take warrants on you? Yep. So we're going to head to Paulding County Jail. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be domestic violence related. I don't know the complete charges. Am I allowed to get a few phone numbers written? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got your phone up here. 111 radio, show me around with the Paulding ADC, one adult male, being the mileage is 8412. Let me put that seatbelt on you real quick. Hang, hang on a second. That's a felony. 
any charge, ain't it? Okay, do me a favor, set it real quick. Let's bring this around you. Okay. There you go. Possibly. So, what, I, I don't understand. I'm getting arrested for for leaving and de-escalating a situation, sir? For, for domestic violence. Right, but you have to put your hands on somebody or break stuff or... There's physical evidence on her. Physical evidence that I put my hands on her? Yep. Like the black eye, the knee... No, the black eye, she said, happened the other day, but there's strangulation marks and there's a bruise on her elbow and there's blood on her and stuff. Okay. So it'll be up to a judge. Okay. Now, the, the warrant could be denied, but based on what he's saying, he's got enough. Okay. Well, I appreciate you being cool and answering fun stuff because, not, I, yeah. I don't cause problems. That's my thing. I'm not a violent guy. I don't, I don't put my hands on her. I don't. I, this is the second. I came home to make things work. I knew this was going to happen. I, I left and was living at a co-worker just for the past week. I do know this is, what, the third or fourth time we've been out here with you guys. Right. You're being arrested now. Right. And you don't have to be rid rights. Okay. I'm not trying to be a smart yeah. ass. I'm just... No, I get it. When you get a second, can you text the victim info for me for the uh, victim sheet? Exactly. I'll be in route to right now. Could, could be, yeah. So it's not. Say with certainty at this point. We know it's in, in the desk. So we gave it to and one of the, the desks to one of the movers, and they will not give. They haven't cooperated with getting back. The so you didn't realize that ring was in the drawer before you gave it to. So after that, and because I'm sure when you real when you, obviously when you know it's in there, you took it out before you gave the drawer to the mover, yeah. right? I was cleaning out the drawer, and I decided that was kind of the area that I kept it because I was I was trying to kind of just mm -hmm. keep it in, a, in a, an area where I I wasn't going to lose it. And um, just, whenever I went to go clear it out, I was trying to find a box where you know I could put all the valuable items that I have in it. And movers came early, and I was kind of in a frantic scramble in the morning. And um, he just left. He left. It was, a, it was definitely an accident. So we don't want to obviously make a criminal case because. The person has it, and we don't want the person to be tar like nothing wrong with them. They just won't cooperate with giving it back, and we've done everything we can to try to get it back. And so, obviously, we gave him the desk, not the items in the desk. Did you tell him about the the ring in there? No. We told. Yeah, we yeah. called. We called and worked with the whole company. We they they've asked the guy who's changed his story like a bunch of times. So. Then his boss even was like, he probably pawned this item off. He probably sold the it. The desk? No, the, the ring. The ring. So, like, the ring is super sentimental. It's my grandmother's. So, like, that's why I care about So, you got the desk back? No, no we gave him the we desk. We gave him that desk. So. And um, the ring was in the desk. Oh, wow. So, that's a tricky situation. I know. Yeah. That's what the other guy said. So, got. here's the thing. When we type a report up, it's a large <laughs> property. It's not a criminal case. Nobody's gonna look into it. I'm just be honest with you, okay. and you're gonna have to take them on this. It's a civil matter. We don't want anything to happen to the company. We don't. We just. Well, want no, I know pawn, that. We just want pawn shops to be alerted that there's. A there's nothing. We're gonna gonna put anything on pawn shop because technically it's is a lost property. We're not gonna uh, put on. Uh, we're not gonna contact or. Uh, pawn shop. Uh, uh, well, it's technically it's technically we're not we can't put an alert on a pawn shop anyway. It's, it has to uh, we we would search pawn shop and like we will see if anybody pawn it, but it has to be specific. The it's, pictures. Uh, the yeah, it's a ring. Um, so uh, if it's electronic, listen, cell phone. We put serial number in. Okay. 
-hmm. and we know well, which pawn shop get get the cell phone. Just but a ring is just a ring. It's mm -hmm. so many variables. We can't. It's so we can search every pawn shop and find out where the ring is. If you even pawn a ring. Okay, because we went to a pawn shop today because we weren't even going to like get like any law enforcement involved, and we went to a pawn shop and yeah. they were like, "This is the worst way to do it. You're not going to find it just going into pawn shops." They said you have to go make a police report because then it goes to each of us and we have to check our inventory, and make sure something's not stolen before we put it out on the floor, which is 40 days, and that's like it. That's what the person said that the law in Georgia is. Yeah. Uh we can check his name if he uses um, information, and then we check it against pawn list and then see what, what he pawned so far, and then see, and then we're gonna go back to what he pawned so far. Okay, if it's a ring, and then we can go to that pawn shop. Yeah, I mean, the ring has uh, uh, engraving anything that no, but you say the earrings are alone. that's yours. It, it, I'm sorry. Go ahead. That I have a picture. I have pictures of it, and I mean, it's just like a very, it's very basic. How like, much is the ring that you were talking about? I know it's a sentimental value, but it's just the uh, price. Wise. I don't know. Like my grandma had it for fifty three years, and she just passed away. So like I had no idea. It's just a, it's just a, it's like a man's wedding ring. It's like a gold band. So it's like a thick gold band. It's what any man would wear. So, but she oh, wore it. Man. I know. It's really. It's really random, but the earrings that it would have been sold with are a little more, they, they're they set in a very unique way to me, like I haven't seen any, so I feel like it would be like <clears throat> the earrings and the ring together. But, yeah. Okay. We were told by, we went over to our, our local precinct, um, now in, uh, it was in Kirkwood, and um, they said that... Um, because it could have been filed as in like a, a mis, mis, uh, misled or what was it? Mislaid and, and mislaid and uh, oh, theft by mis theft by loss and mislaid property. Yes, yeah. and then they said that it would. It, it that would be a charge. Uh, that's what I was thinking at because uh, you talked to the guy because you you just gave him a desk. The the ring was in it and not intended to give it to him. It's yeah. lost property, but he, he assuming that. Yeah. He knew the ring in there, and assuming that he the new ring, he didn't want to give it back. So yes, that's called that by mislaying and lost well, property. Well, I mean, if that's the case, I mean, we just gonna do it that way, uh, and then see if we can s search his name. You say you have pictures of the ring mm -hmm. and picture of the earrings. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Can you get drones also? Sure. Okay. All right. We let me. Uh, even if we, can you text right now? Um, even yeah. if we. Give you his name. He's not going to be charged with anything, right? But just being honest, like he knows where we live. He moved us in, and like he's not exactly like not that I'm like saying anything, but like he's obviously not. The well, that's fine. I mean, person. you can talk to the detective because uh, when I top it up as a theft, then that is become that become a, a uh, criminal case. And yeah, you just like, hey, if I get the ring back, I don't want to be charged. Just I just want my ring and, and earrings back. See what they can do, but yeah. hope is slim, okay? I'm just trying you know now, because if he doesn't pawn it or anything like that, or he, no, he don't go that traditional way, he just mm -hmm. sells it to somebody, and that's done. That's that. Yeah, I know that. Uh, we just want to try. We want to exhaust all of our options, but we don't really want him to know that we're trying to go ask. Like, we don't want him to think that, because, like, Honest, we may come to that. We have to talk to him, though. We might have to come to him to talk to him. But we want to try to use the thing. Do you know his name and date of birth? I don't know his name, date of birth, but we'll have to figure out. We know the. Do you have his phone numbers? We have the moving company. Um, we have the president of the moving company. Okay. Working yeah, with. we had him involved. I feel like you should maybe just talk to him. I don't know if that would be if that's. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll talk to them. We'll talk just, to them see if we can I, get this information. Because we need his name and date of birth and then check it against the pawn uh, uh, website and then see what he pawned so far and then break it down. Okay, did he pawn the ring? ring? Okay, we go to that pawn shop and, and then with your picture comparing uh, we might get it back. That's the best in case scenario. Okay, yeah. that would be the best case scenario. And that, that's, yeah. yeah. I mean, I there's just, a way for us, you know, it, if it is, you know, have to be charged as a criminal, she got her, you know, filed as a criminal case, 
and, and we have the ability to not. Well, we start. try to get the ring in the earrings first, yes. and then. I don't want it to be a criminal. I just. And don't. then, well, it is a criminal, but you can. Decide you can not decide not to press okay. Yeah. okay, so I just don't want him to that's show the last resort. Anyway. Vengeance, because he knows exactly where we live yeah. and like all of that. I understand. Okay. No, I understand. Get to our, where we sleep, like that just We're gonna try to keep it low profile as much as we can okay. by going around before talking to him, talk to his boss first, get uh, yeah, we'll get his up. information. And hopefully, what well, is the thing? So we cannot stop yeah, people talking. His boss might tell him, "Hey." Please inquire this and that. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. But we need that information because uh, that's the best way to find out. Yeah, it's the best way. Yeah, and then the boss can talk to him. Well, would you reach out to or, uh, the the president, or do we have to get the guys? Full we, we can. We can reach out. We can okay. reach out to the uh, to the uh, president. Uh, okay. We need we need that phone number. Okay. Yeah, we, we need we the name. That. Yeah, so let me make notes. Let me take notes so real quick. Let me pull my notes up. I can make notes real quick, and then uh, we can try to reach out to. Uh, Are you okay with this? Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, if we have to get Jerome's name or last name to put it in the system. So Jerome, right? That's all you know. You don't all have his number. His name is Jerome. Okay, yeah. and um, let me get his uh, physical. Uh, Description, um, height, so he weight, he's, he's race. He's probably about, um, he's African American. Um, he is, he has uh, dreadlocks. Yeah, he's, uh, sure. he's probably about, I don't know, five, five, seven, roughly. Yeah. Five, seven, uh, weight. Probably like probably 150. Like 150. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, what else do you know about him at all? Um, I know where he lives. Residency. Did you know how? How do you? Because he gave us that, so that That's we. The president gave us his address, so that we could begin to look at pawn shops in the area. Um, oh. So what? What area is he? It's uh. The president, or, or you called him the president, or he's a bar, oh, a president. Okay, what's yeah, the president, president name? Uh, Orlando Lynch. L y n c h. Orlando Lynch. Okay. What's your name? Haley. Haley. I'll get your I'll get your ID in a second, but just get your name so I can make note again. Haley. L H A I L E Y. No, I can say we we will we will do our best to go around and but we still need his information. The reason we need that because we have to check it against the database. Otherwise we just put a ring in there and it's like thousand rings. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so get uh, uh, what's his address? Yes. Um. Full unit, to be honest, because I just why not? Well, we, you need we need that to to <laughs> oh, get his <sure>. information. <laughs> yeah, I mean that I makes sense. <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, but no, no, no apartment number. We're just nervous uh, about nervous, him getting yeah. mad at us considerably. <laughs> I but get I it. I understand the situation. But you know, yeah, like I say, it's not things gonna be perfect and. Sometimes some some some, some got to give. Okay. Yeah, I don't want him like going getting charged or any handcuffs. Well, I know that, I know that, but um, well, we we do decide to talk to him. He don't they don't know that. Yeah. We we tell him we try to tell him, but he don't think like that. He thinks these people try to get me jammed up. This that's how the people paranoid. Yeah, uh, they are and stuff like that. But you did talk to Jerome. In person about a ring and uh, no, we talked to Orlando. They're not allowing us to talk to him to Jerome. Jerome will not speak to us. And, and Orlando talked to uh, Jerome. Yes, he's been talking to him through us. And Trent, he tried to get him to talk to him like okay. directly, so that they could he could tell him like how important this is to us, and just try to like 
not have to go through his boss, and he will, he doesn't want to talk to us. Or at least that's what the boss is saying. So we don't know where the... What's your name, sir? Uh, Trenton. Monday. Trent. Uh, you guys got an ID card? Mm -hmm. So technically that rings to become yours like Haley, so that's you you gonna be a victim, okay? Just okay. let you know. Your phone number is number to reach you at, and yes. uh, um, you moved from 1050 Lamus Park Boulevard? Yes, I moved twice since then. Okay. And you live in apartment 9308? That was back then. But I can do you my new address. So. That's, hold on, I, I, um, I hate to say this, but, man, I think that's in Atlanta, even though it's in Brooklyn Haven. Let me double check. Because that apartment complex is very weird. Uh, buildings, apartment buildings. Oh, that's not my most recent. That's not where I'm staying. The one you moved from? Two times ago. So that's my original Atlanta address. I, oh, I moved, okay. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> No, I okay, just what that. is the uh, address you moved from? 1019 Brookhaven Way, Northeast, Atlanta, Georgia. It's Brookhaven, Georgia. 30319? Yes. Brookhaven, 1019. That is the uh, post. Uh, post program. Yes. Post program. Just moved from there. And you used to live with her, or you yes. live with her together? together yeah. We lived together at 1019. 1019, okay. And you get, y'all gave him the desk mm -hmm. at their apartment, right? Yes. At the okay. apartment at 1019. Okay. Okay, um... So somebody has to pick this case up in order for it to, yeah. like, be escalated? Yeah. Okay. Or you guys will follow up. Yeah, so when I talk about this stuff by, like, uh, he's uh, that by mislay and lost property, yes, the detective will contact you first. Okay. Uh, just basically, uh, in, just when I top it up, I used to be a detective too, so when I read the officer report, 
it's not I don't trust officers, but officers might miss some things. So mm -hmm. I will reach out. It's just a policy. I reach out to victims first to ask the victim, hey, this is what the uh, report say. Anything you want to add? And then you might, oh, so I, yeah, I want to add this and that. And then we follow up. Like I said, we will we'll get his information and run it against the uh, uh, pawn shop. So he he pawn anything recently. And then um, okay. if he did, then we go to that pawn. We contact, we call the pawn shop. Uh, or we go to that pawn shop uh, and then, hey, uh, this guy pawn the ring, this, and then, of course, uh, do you have pictures? Mm -hmm. um, yes. Let me. Um, So you can email it to me so I can put pictures for the detective to have so they can take the pictures and compare and stuff like that. Okay. And um and especially the earrings unique so that I mean yes, it has to be something unique or you know, uh, yeah. Yeah. And um I mean Maybe the pawn shop don't want to give it back because the thing is we don't we can make the pawn shop give it back. If we cannot have a sensei that is stolen the item, this is different than electronic. We have serial number. Hey, you do this yeah. serial number is stolen. You get to give it back to me. But the ring, no, where the ring is, like, and they're not willing. Then to you can back, you can buy it back or something like that. Or, or, you know, because it's sentimental value, obviously. Uh, so mm -hmm. they can work with you. I mean. And I see, you, you know, but that's the last resort. Anyway, it's a lot of harm. Sure. So they're like, oh, okay, you're, you're going to have it. Mm -hmm. uh, I have that a lot So when I was a victim. So, um, but I'm just giving you a different scenario when it, what happens. So just be mindful. Sometimes they don't give it back. They don't want to give it to us. And we can 100% say they're willing to buy it back. Well, at least we, you know where, where they are. Yeah, exactly. Which is, you know, what matters to us. Honestly, yeah. Okay, so email... Oh, that's my email address. Those two pictures to me, please. Two hundred check, huh? Can you change the address to ten nineteen Brookhaven Way, please? And change it to Larceny. Do you know a Linda Wang? No. No, I was gonna say. I feel like it's a common last name. But... It's very common, like Smith and Jones. Mm -hmm. We have a population of 80 million people, mm -hmm. and 60% of us last name Wang. Really? Okay. <laughs> so. I, I I I used to work with somebody with the last name. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Two people actually. Give you a little history back in the day when Wing Dynasty, we was uh, dynasty took over. And the emperor, obviously emperor, he's the king. He wanted everybody to change to his last name. Oh, no matter who you are. So that's why. Wow. <laughs> so we're not related. We don't know anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I Can have I keep no this card? Minus. Well, no, let me give you a case. I'm going to put case number oh. on that card for you. And be, yeah. Um, yeah, if you know where Monday comes from. Please tell me because I have no I'm, idea. Yeah, no, I have, I have rarely seen Monday. You know, yeah. I've seen it one or two before, but Monday is really? rare, last name. No yeah. Way. I have yet to come across another Monday. Well, because look, my business, with my job, I've been yeah. doing this 16 years. I uh, talk to people, I run yeah. to people, yeah. a lot of people. Definitely. It's not like, you, you know, so you have certain group, but we, like, you right. know, I, and I used to work in Clayton County, I work everywhere, so I. That's why it's the pool of people I run into a lot, a lot larger than so. Yeah. That's why I run yeah. into one Monday before. But yeah, Monday is too rare. They probably uh, are related to you, the Mondays you ran. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe <laughs> yeah, well. yeah, so. Number just to uh, keep it for five. Um, uh, if you decide want to copy a report, but I don't know why you need it right now because it's still under investigation. But yeah. you can come back here and get a copy of a report. But it's still initial report. What you told me today. Yeah. Uh, what day was that? that you gave the desk to Jerome. It was the twenty sixth of October. 
And what time was that, remember? Just estimate. Roughly 10 o'clock. And? 10 o'clock in the morning, yeah. Um, and then what day did you realize the ring missing? Oh, uh, two, two Fridays ago. Or uh, last Friday. Last Friday, which was the 11th. 3rd. 3rd. This was all supposed to be to make my engagement ring, so I wasn't in, aware of anything. I just found out it was gone after yeah, so the I'm past. Just, oh, man. Um, yeah. I'm kicking myself right now. Yeah. It's hard. Uh, what time was that? Just for the report, right? You realize. Oh, it's missing. Uh, uh, about 4.30 uh, in the afternoon. It's just for the report. All right. Um, so between 26th and 3rd, um, okay, so 26th you gave Jerome a uh, desk, right? Mm -hmm. What kind of desk is that? Just a desk? It was a desk that was, uh, it's got about a, it's a tan countertop, or tan, tan top to it. One There's drawer. an additional um, tabletop up top, which mm -hmm. kind of... I just put ten desks because it's not really a uh, big uh, mm -hmm. reference to the ring. Yeah. Okay. You you emailed me the ring, the picture of the ring. Right? I did. Okay. Let me make sure I got it. Yeah, I got it. Very, very, very simple, but very yeah, yeah. important. Okay. Um, so the desk, and then um, later on you found. Um, on on the third, you you realized the ring was there and there, and then you contact the president, the president to talk to Jerome. Jerome wouldn't want to talk to you or wouldn't want to contact you about the ring or the earrings. He uh, no. gave a bunch of different conflicting stories. He what what some. story did he give you? So the original story he gave was that he had or that he checked the desk and he did not see it. Mm -hmm. The second story he gave was that. He had not checked the desk. Okay. Um, and then he said that he had just left it at the, the whole desk at the MARTA station. What? There's he said, the, there, because he, he said that he has transportation. He said, anymore. yeah, he's the first, okay, that's the first and second. This, the third one is he said he had to figure out a ride situation because he was going to bring it, he couldn't fit it on MARTA. So then he got a ride and took it home, and he hasn't checked the inside of the desk still. And then he said that he actually just left it at the MARTA station. So it's changed, and we're just as confused as you are. He just kept changing the story, like, and... So and then found he when when he found a ride he brought it home. Yes, and he did he didn't look in it. He said. And then the next story he told was that he actually never found a ride and left it at the Marta station. <laughs> yeah, he knows the ring. It, he found out. He found. He, he saw the ring in there. Yeah. yeah. No. That's why we have to do what we can because we're like we know he has it. <laughs> Not that we weren't a hundred percent before, but now we're like a thousand. After percent. after searching the house twice, completely upside down, searching every crevice. But not even that because of his stories and how he keeps. Yeah, and the, and the stories and and. Yeah. The and then he doesn't want to talk very to us. Cooperative. It's and then finally, he just stopped talking to you. Then, then yeah, they're, not, they're not giving us his contact information. I, I the, asked him directly. I said, you know, can I talk to the guy? And, and, and now the boss is saying. So this is through the boss, right? Through yes, Orlando. through the boss. And now the yeah, boss is saying uh, he doesn't have it. Or he doesn't think, he does not think he has it. And I think that they just want us to go away. But, like, this is my grandma's okay. ring of 53 years, so I'm not going away. Yeah. Hey,
So now boss saying he did not have it. They would not give you his uh, phone number, right? Yeah, they said that he would. They would ask him if he wanted to talk to us, and then he did not want to. Yeah. So this maybe people might not give us the, his information when he when we ask him, because at this time they might not try to cooperate. They might though, because they gave us his address. <laughs> so uh, who knows? I yeah, who knows? Yeah, I don't know. I'm just saying. You yeah. Know. Well, the, you never know. The president when we... was very, very um, eager to try and, and help us. Um, I'm not. I'm not trying to say that that guy wasn't. So I, I guess I should also kind of clarify. I started out reaching out to. I originally reached out just directly to the front desk, seeing if they could help. And then after that, I reached out. Um, to the president. Or, yeah, I, I, I got in touch with the vice president. Um, and, and he was telling me, you know, some of the conflicting information. And then I finally threw out a lifeline yesterday to the... Um, was it yesterday? So the, price, the vice president giving you this... Uh, no, this is all the president. So we just let, like, he wasn't helpful at all. Like, that's not even information that needs to Okay, so, um, not to confuse the detective, so let me, uh, leave it for, for now. So, what, what, what? That's irrelevant. The, the point is, we've been, we've been in contact with upper level management, and they have tried to be cooperative, or trying to get us, um, an answer and, uh, cooperation has. And I think that they're done, managed. they're just like, what, like, yeah, they're done Move trying on. to help us at this point. Because the guy's not cooperating with them. Because he keeps saying different things each time, and he's like, I don't have it. Mm -hmm. I think that the whole, like, I left it at the MARTA station, kind of, he probably talked to somebody that thought it through a little bit more. I'm I'm just speculating, and like... Mm -hmm. What's Orlando phone number? Oh, what's the phone number for? Is, is that his cell phone number? Uh, yes. yes, this is his direct line right here. And that's the only phone number you have for him, right? Yes. Correct. He's very responsive. Seven, five. Okay. All right, so I think I got everything. You guys, anything I'm sorry, else? It's been like a roller coaster. Of, we're trying to like. Read. Oh, it's all right. Um, <laughs> I understand. It's, it, I mean, it's not just a piece of jewelry. It's sentimental value. Yeah. That's the water bone, but. Right. Um, so we will try our best and Thank hope for so hope for the best. I said we uh, want to set up with support up. Uh, detective will take over. So um, then it's out of my hands. So uh, they will contact you though. Okay. Um, but I don't know when because they have the case low like this, and of course they go with the high. Um, yeah. Yeah, gotta get out of the big stuff. Yeah, first. stuff. Do you have any <laughs> recommendations for what we could do in the meantime? Like, if you've seen this happen before, like what could we be doing? To, or do not, we no, just... not really, because you already did what you could. You went around to look for a pawn shop around his address and. Really, they they not gonna help you out anyway. Mm -hmm. cause, uh, Especially when it's just the uh, ring and the earrings. If you have a serial number, you give it to them, they can look it up. But it's yeah. not that they're not trying to be helpful. It's not. It's, it's, not it's, easy. Yeah. it's not easy. Like like the one you punch up and just told you, yeah, it's better to let the police. Yeah, uh, it's more, <laughs> more so easier for us to just figure out where it was sold so we can go talk to the people. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. But if he don't, if he didn't pawn it, then, or now he found out that he took it out. Well, then we they still they still have record of whether he pawned that ring. But if he took them out already, uh, it's hard to. That's too. a tough situation. That's tough yeah. because he took them out and he dumped it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, oh man, I hate to say that, but I don't want to. We just can't not go to every link to try to do our best to get it back, but. We really appreciate your support. Yes. Oh, no problem. You have a Thank good night, you. and then hopefully that we can find these for you, okay? okay That's good. Thank you. Very Thank much. you. Have a good night. Good night. Yeah, yes. Please.